Welcome, everybody, back to Coffee Talk. My name is Bredemus, and today's Coffee Talk uh, gameplay... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. We got Neil last time. I keep forgetting to turn my second monitor, because I'm an idiot. And I know what I'm doing, but I'm an idiot. But yeah, we're back into this, because... Like I said, I'm enjoying this game. I'm gonna finish it. I don't think I'm even halfway through, though, so we've got a long-ass time until we're fucking done with this thing. <clears throat> Shall we? Welcome. Saitama? Good evening, sir. Uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, what kind of voice does Saitama have? <laughs> I know Max Middleman voices the dub of him, but I'm not. I'm not gonna sound like Max Middleman. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or F F I R E for short. Fire for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? No, no, I got a cover for Neil. I don't think so. Hell yeah. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses... that I've never actually seen the word eyewis eyewitnesses spelled out before. That was wild, and it shouldn't have been. It's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. Hmm... That's... Uh... A pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? <laughs> right, right, no, yeah. To avoid attention, you, you know? Hmm. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for your help. For the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact, contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before you before you go get the fuck out of my get up get out of my coffee shop. <laughs> We're good. We're take care on your way. That was weird. Whew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Aqua? Aqua and Myrtle. Good evening, Brodimus. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Now nah, you go first. Okay. Uh, can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Green tea with a lot of mint. Coming right up, Aqua. Just, just, just demolish it with mint. Oh yeah, get that green in there. Get that, get that leaf in there. Marrakesh? Oh, I hope this is correct. Your drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Okay, so I, I guess I did it right since we got a special dialogue for it. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. Uh, hold on, hold please, I need to check, I have to get rid of the notification, because I fucking can't stand notifications. Fresh and healthy drink from Morocco, how about that? Uh, <clears throat> how about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tateric. The what? <laughs> what did you call me? Uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. I don't have that. Hold, please. All right. All right. Tateric is TT milk. Not titty milk. TT milk. There it is. Tateric. Tateric? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Here's your Tateric. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. It's just like the... Tataric, Tatari, I don't know, you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? Google. <laughs> I traveled around Southeast, uh, Southeast Asia a few years ago. Apparently the barista has a backstory, who fucking knew that? Alright, what did someone to chill got for us? Myrtle at Cosmic Studios. Uh, favorite things, me time, boy, same. What I'm doing with my life, as I've stated before, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Fair enough. 
Uh, okay, let's back out. Brew pad. Because now I have... I cannot make that. Tea with milk mixed by pouring the two repeatedly between cups. Originally from Malaysia. Interesting. So, you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. Or, you know, a Google article that you... If you put it into Google. <laughs> <coughs> so, um... How are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some uh, good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research uh, can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Ooh, boy. Oh. I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and your team. <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Oh, yep, here we go. I kind of thought we'd go in this direction. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you, or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. Uh, for, guilt is, uh, for guilt is something that also bothers me a lot, even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still sads me to realize that my favorite series it was born out of such sacrifice. Yeah, it's a real fucking problem. Just in general. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. <laughs> so don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Shouldn't be. I fucking 100% agree. Hey, cheer up. Remember... Your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. Max West, instead of PAX East. Got it. See, so PAX stands for Penny Arcade Expo. What is this? I don't know what that could be an anagram for. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem, then? I haven't confirmed my my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast. Uh, hop on that shit before they give your spot to another indie. Yeah? Yeah? I, I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. Well, that's good, then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything or, on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident. Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> yep. You pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. Yeah, for the most part, sure. What if some haters visit the booth? They, they, I guarantee you they will. And you just gotta fucking deal with it. What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. The Myrtle, don't lie to her. It's an expo, not the internet. Well, that's fair too. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen some... I've, I've, I've read some stories about people who go to these types of places and they get fucking harassed over and over again because, oh, you didn't do things this way or you should do that. It's like unwanted advice, so I don't know. Hit or miss, I guess. People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole weekend. Myrtle? You can go with her? Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. I feel that. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. Uh, Myrtle? Myrtle? You know what? Fuck it. Huh. 
So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then uh, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an, ex with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Fuck them. <laughs> don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but... I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? Is the expo build ready? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. <laughs> oh. Got it. Now, let's see. Hello? Who goes there? Rachel, hi! Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Brodimus. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, hi, Brodimus. I guess you'd be more downtrodden, huh? Huh? Uh, nothing. I've just been practicing all day, and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. Oh. But I'm going to perform at Coachella, Coachella next week. This will add a new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announcements this late are... <sighs> Backups. Oh. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. <laughs> yes. And I'm excited for it. And I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Okay, cocoa powder. Milk. Honey? Gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Let's see what happens here. Who would put honey in their milk, ch in their hot chocolate? Milk, honey, chocolate. That's, that sounds incorrect. All right. Cocoa powder. No. Reset. Milk, cocoa powder. I can't do that. Really? I can't do milk and then cocoa powder? It's gonna be cocoa powder? Honey milk? I don't know. Chocobi Miruku. That's just chocolate milk, right? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, hey, yeah. Fuck it. I got it right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Stumbled into that one. <coughs> Here's your drink. Let's check my brew pad. Tomo to chill. What do we got for Rachel? Her self summary. Hi there. I am Rachel Florencia. You might have seen me on your screen singing, dancing, or modeling. Working on a new album, especially for you right now. Boy, I wish my favorite band would do that. <laughs> Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate. <laughs> Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate. All right, here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if... Hesitate, not hesitate. To call me if you need anything. Thanks. And hey, what are we doing over here? Other than, that, than the instruction on the loading screen. Try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it. You might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Who next? It's busy! Oh, Hendry. <laughs> Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. So what you drinking there, Hendry? What you... I might have some scotch in the back. I'm not 100% sure. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Brodimus. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. Please. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Yeah, she's kind of got a point there, Hendry. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having, bud? What would you recommend? Scotch, whiskey, bourbon, rum. Somewhere not here. Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? I don't know. It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. 
I'll take that Spanish Sahara. So, hot chocolate with milk and ginger? That's cinnamon, idiot. Uh, ginger, over here. So, so, so it should be called a Spanish Sahara. Let's see if we get it correct on the first try. I got it correct on the first try. I was paying attention. Big brain time. Uh, so the Tumblr Chill also gives me Hendry. What do you got? Favorite things, family and music. What he's doing with his life? Trying to be a better father while running a, rec a record store. Oh, fair. Burp bad! Got a Spanish Sahara, warm and cozy. Just like a good day in Barcelona. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never left the fucking country. <laughs> Your drink is ready, sir. Not that I don't want to, it's just like, never had the opportunity to. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. Sorry? I need- Oh, uh, I need him. I, I almost went into his- I need him! I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know, Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how, many fans would or how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the, of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I, I'm sorry, but try, I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Get good, scrub. <laughs> because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I can return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? I've been out of, you've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out, like how to work that damn computer. But we- It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know what, or you know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. <laughs> Morris Lester, it's a troll name. Six and six. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. Ow! I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel! Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Excuse me for a moment, Brodimus. I'm not crying. You're crying. Oh boy! I'm sorry about what just happened. I look, guys. I don't know. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Myrtle. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. Thank you. Yeah, good. It's none of my business, is it? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and we were focusing on them instead? No, I was listening. I made notes. <laughs> See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Brodimus, we're leaving. Good. I mean, glad you could be here. Hope you have a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please, take care on your way home. Boy, Freya really missed out today. A lot of shit went down. Hmm, I guess that's all for to. Or for to. 
Hendry! Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Sorry. Are you all right, sir? <sighs> sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh, no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl band judo. That's true, actually, yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s. <clears throat> they were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. Settle in Seattle. I wanted a peaceful life. Oh no! Is he Kira Yoshikake? Oh no! Well, quick! Check his pockets, there's any hands! You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what did be the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls, especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Ah, oh, you know, blood sacrifices, worshiping dark gods, well, you know, the usual. Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning... Abandoning the responsibilities, their families. Like modern-day influencers. <laughs> Weird how the parallel kind of happens that way, right? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being an influencer innately. I'm saying pushing the lifestyle of, like, you have all this money and trying to tell your fans that you can do these types of things. It's just not fucking realistic. You all got lucky. Sure, you might have worked hard to get there, but you, a lot of work, like working hard as a content creator and as an influencer can only take you so far. There is a bit of luck in playing the algorithm a little bit, and playing that algorithm can be really fucking shitty. I work in search engine optimization. I know how shitty it can be. And the men. Oh, the men. They were even worse. Sorry, I got on my rant there. I got a fucking soapbox there, but, I mean, that's just how shit goes. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, shit hasn't changed, man. The internet just made it easier. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. Morris is gonna have this fucker assassinated, right? I say fucker. He's gonna have him assassinated, right? I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Brodimus. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then. Goodbye. This, um... This game kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh... Oh, shoot. What's the name of that game without anime called? Death Parade. Kind of reminds me of Death Parade. Like, a bedchamber? A cup for those longing for a deep slumber. Um, it kind of reminds me of Death Parade in that, like, there's a cafe setting, and, um... Two dead people come in, and they have to, like, justify which one gets put back into the cycle of reincarnation, and the other gets sent to the void. But it's all set in, like, a, like a, like a, like a cafe-type setting. And there are different types of cafes. The main cafe is very typical, like, lounge, like, low music, um, kind of a thing. It's also, like, kind of a bar setting. It's more of a bar setting, actually, now that I think about it. But it's the same kind of feel. People come in, air their grievances, and then you kind of put the story together that way. Granted, no one's dead in this. I assume. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into a ghost or a zombie or something. That'd be fun. What's the evening whispers got for us? <clears throat> it caught me off guard. Oh, no. 
Oh, that really caught me off guard. <laughs> Couchilla organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to, to attend unsupervised. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchilla 2020. Gil Naiman and Merrick Harukami to collaborate for a new IP. Maruki Harukami. I don't know who that's supposed to be, but Neil gave- that's funny. That's fun. This is a good issue. October 1st issue is a good issue. Alright. Leave it on a cliffhanger. Who do we got? Oh, we're gonna have to find out next time. How's that for a cliffhanger, huh? Oh, man! It's not- I mean, it's exciting for me. I love this game. I love this game so much. Anyway! That's a video, everybody. If you liked it, make sure you click the like button down below. And if you did, be sure to subscribe. A new video every 1 p.m. Fridays, Eastern Time. Every Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern. I fucked it up again! Monday, Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Monday's my stream VODs. Check the link in the description. Take it to use my Twitch channel. Show you that we're just reading Homestuck right now. It's all we're doing. Because <laughs> it's long and it takes for fucking ever to get through. And uh, Friday's my normal uploads. What was your favorite part about this? I, personally, I'm, I... I hope we see more Myrtle and Aqua, because they are so cute together. But which did you like, the, which interaction more? Did you like Myrtle and Aqua, or did you like the more <laughs> meat or candy? The candy being Myrtle and Aqua, the meat being the development of Rachel and uh, Hendry's relationship as uh, father-daughter, and the dark shit that's going on there. But let me leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, and share it with your friends. This is, this is a good time to share content, put it out there. Um, it helps me. If your friends like it, then great, you know, win-win. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, because we're still going through with this, because I don't, I don't know how long this game is, but it's longer than I thought it was. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time. Later, everybody.